one thing I would say is uh, there's a great uh, opportunity for leaders to lead. So, um, so one a micro example that when you find leaders in an org male leaders in an organisation taking parental leave, leaving early, picking up the kids, going to school, all those sort of things that some years ago nobody did. And now it, it's not common, it's not the norm in, in my experience, but you do see them. And uh, I've seen at uh, a couple of workplaces that I've worked at where the, the people who do that, where the men that do that are, if not in an organisational um, hierarchy, organisation structure terms, the most senior person or the second most senior person, but they're opinion leaders, they're big personalities, they're people that um, are regarded as good managers or good supervisors and people coalesce around them socially, whatever. If they do that, you do see the ripple effect. It does happen. Um, so that would be one... So, uh, here I'm... That's an instance where men influencing men for broader benefit. Um, and you know, I imagine... I hope others have seen that sort of thing occur. Now, that's not the big issue, but until... The biggest thing for me about... Sort of, we took, took this up to the highest level. The biggest thing for me about what men can do to aid women and um, facilitate a greater gender equity in workplaces is to take more caring responsibilities. And to um, Sam's point about making space for women to step in. And I've seen that happen. It hasn't, in the two organisations I'm thinking of, it hasn't been um, a tsunami of change, but it's, it's a continuing change. So that demonstration effect is something I'd say.